was Roger's girl, but he ran his eyes over her. Not bad, not bad at all, though she liked a little in the boobs department. She was too flat chested for his liking. He ran past her, hearing her call his name, and dove into the water. He swam out about 200 yards before he turned back. Alice was waiting for him at the water's edge. When's Roger coming back? She asked. Today, maybe tomorrow. Who knows? You would know. You're his friend. All right. He'll be back. She eyed him dubiously. You sure? I'm sure. I'm sure. He wrote to me. Did he mention me? Said he had undying love for you. Dreams of you every night. Alice exclaimed, oh, but she was pleased. Don't drink with her. Roger had so much to mention about his father. He had been too busy talking about his father and his love for him. If he did not have him, he would take up his own life. He did not like Roger well enough to want him to be happy. Besides, if Roger were with Alice, he could hardly be with his mother and in the way. He can't wait to see you again. He murmured as he walked Alice to her blanket and watched her sprawl out. She was almost naked in that bikini, but she didn't do a thing for his hormones. Mrs. Whitehead was something else again. He could hardly wait until she showed up. He forced himself to be calm, to sit beside Alice and talk about Roger. He spoke of the son, but his mind was on the mother. Roger Whitehead was sullen. He sat in an easy chair in his father's den and tried to force himself to not scare his father. He had never been able to do so. He could not do it today, either. He said, it's stupid. Trevor Whitehead was calm. It isn't stupid when two people's happiness is concerned. Mine and Brenda's. What about mom? Trevor Whitehead looked pained. Your mother will be remarried within a year. Two fathers and two mothers then. Big deal. His father said slowly, You are going away to college in the fall, Roger. You will be starting a whole new life away from me and your mother. That's what I'm doing in a sense, starting a new life. Roger was silent, scowling. His father said casually, Naturally, I suppose you'll need a car to get you around campus. It was so unexpected. Roger forgot his anger. He rose half out of his chair, saying excitedly, You really mean that, Dad? A car for me. I don't see why not. If your mother doesn't expect too much alimony, I fancy I can swing it. She has her own money, doesn't she? Yes, she does. And I rather think she'll be agreeable to whatever I decide to give her. I'm taking care of all expenses. You are free to draw on me for any extra money you may need. Roger grinned. A car and all the money you might want. It began to sound pretty good. College. There would be football games to go to, dances to attend, pretty co-eds to date. Life might not be so bad after all. Carefully he asked, what about Dunes Point? Are we going back there anymore? Would you like to? There's a girl I know, Alice Crawford. She's going to college too, and we were talking about writing to each other. I might even have her to the prom. Son, I think that's wonderful. I guess we can go back, to get Brenda's things. He should feel guilty, he guessed. After all, his mother had been good to him. But he could not help this surge of excitement that came up inside him. Roger was sure she would understand. His own car. It was like a dream. He was not aware that his father was watching him, smiling to himself at how easily he had won Roger over. He sat staring into space, wondering what kind of car his father would spring for. Nor did he see his father make a motion with his hand to Brenda Winslow, who was waiting outside the partially open door. The first he knew she was there, was when she walked toward his father. Roger glanced up and his eyes took her in. She was damn good looking, he admitted. Dusky, with all that black hair and those bouncing pajamas. 
hope we'll be friends. Roger. Sure we will. Why not? Impulsively he got up and kissed her cheek. She had a musty perfume on. That was sort of exciting. He wondered if he should tell Alice Crawford about that perfume. Maybe she could worry when she came to see him at his college. I'm going to take in a movie, he announced. I'll be back for dinner. He hesitated. When do you think we can go back to the point? This weekend, for sure, his father said. Brenda went slow down. The radio said something about a hurricane. 